my go-to place for inspiration is the number one place I go to is Pinterest because that is where I find most of the things I'm looking for. Now, um, it depends. If you don't find what you're looking for in Pinterest, then you can go to AliExpress or you go to search on Instagram or you go to search on Behance. Behance is like Pinterest, but it's mainly designed for designers. But most of the times you find whatever you're looking for on Pinterest. Now, what you do when you're trying to search for inspiration on Pinterest, you use the search option. And you have to be very, very specific with what you want. For example, I'm going for skincare photography, right? I'm just going to type skin care product photography. You have to specify skincare product photography. Else, if you just put skincare, you're not going to get as good result as you want. So I'm going to tap on press on search and wait for results. Now, these are all the results I get. Now, sometimes you can also be very, very specific. For example, uh, my product is possibly a body body wash. So I'll just put body wash product photography and I search. I'm going to see ideas on different styling techniques of the body wash. So it's up to me to take some time to sit down and look through which one can I easily recreate? Which one is it that the props that they use, I have something similar like that. See this one now. I definitely have this plate, but it doesn't, it's not necessarily to have to be white plate. I have like a wooden plate. I can use it. I have some flowers. I can do that. Even this thing at the back, I have it. So I don't mind taking picture of this. So I can just save it or I'll possibly screenshot it. I screenshot it. Now we continue our journey again, oh, looking for ideas, looking for ideas. Don't be ahead of yourself. Just look for something you can easily recreate. Don't jump the gun. Else, you will just be, you will just be so stressful for you. Um, what else? Look at this one. It's very easy. You find a nice background that looks like this. Not exactly like this, but something like this. Put some leaves here and here, and place your towel. Put your product flatly and it's done i screenshot it so that's how you continue let's say you have five different products you want to shoot and they have different names you just replace this body wash with maybe if you have cleanser you put cleanser product photography if you are uh, if it is a uh, um lip balm lip balm product photography if it is eyeshadow eyeshadow product photography if it is lipstick lipstick product photography and so on and so forth so that's the way to find inspiration you don't just start styling like that with no idea on how to get started you don't know you have to just, just be confused so this is one expo that me i use and i find it very easy to do Look at this now. Uh, it's eyeshadow and lipstick. I um, Simbi Prop has this um, acrylic plate. We sell it. These acrylic blocks. We have it. We have it. So all these things, you just have to look at what you have and see how you can replace it. It don't have to be exact, but it will guide you on how to get started. Yeah. Now, instead of me taping my backdrop to the wall, instead of me using a backdrop stand, I just simply went ahead to install a, a curtain pole on my wall because to me like as a product photographer I take pictures many times and using the backdrop stand over and over again tapping things to the wall over and over again is quite stressful so I just get I just got a uh, what's it called a carpenter to come and install pole for me just like the curtain pole just like a curtain pole I did one on a level for my back drop and I bought backdrop clips to clip the backdrop on the pole simply prop sells that backdrop clips so it's easy for me to use and I got a table you know a white table small table it doesn't really matter and uh, this is now my simple very effective space now when we talk about um, lights 
I just want to talk about the different kinds of light you can use for your product photography. Now the first one is the softbox. This is how it looks like. Mine is round shaped, they are square shaped, they are rectangle shaped, so it doesn't really matter. But there's one thing you need to look at for when you're buying a softbox, is that um, it needs to have uh, at least four bulbs so that uh, it, get, it gets brighter. If you buy those with two bulbs, they may not give you enough light as you want. The second one is uh the led lights there's this type and there's this type the led lights these ones are also as bright uh they're those they're also bright this one is from godox this one you can find it from any vendor uh out there that says light led lights however the led lights comes in different sizes so you have to look for the one look out for big sizes big sizes so that they are more diffused uh, than the small sizes and last but not the least is the ring light the ring light i really do not advise this for photography most especially for beauty photography because the ring light tends to have to show a circular light sign or you just shall see it on your product and it doesn't look appealing so these are the lights this is my number one recommendation softbox or you get this lights godos lights or uh, and the led lights but don't use don't try to use the ring lights for product photography except is your last resort um to avoid all those circular lights on your products and um like i said you have to get at least two light sources now it could be two soft boxes it could be two goddess light it could be it could be two led lights <coughs> or it could be a mix of any of the one one soft box and one goddess uh, goddess light or one soft box and one led light it, it's really entirely up to you how you want to mix match as long as long as it's white bright lights yes so i've set up my lights i'm using one led light and one softbox and i place them side by side side by side now part of the reason why i said that you should use uh you should have wipes is so that you can clean off uh your backdrop in the case of dust and all that all these things helps when it comes to when you are editing now um as a beginner you would want to have a white backdrop it is very important no matter what it is that you sell it is a beginner friendly backdrop you should have a white backdrop then after you have mastered how to use the white backdrop to style to take pictures of your product then you can move on to all the kinds of backdrop colored the backdrop boards pvcs etc etc simbi prop sells this white backdrop is called a pvc backdrop and we have it in all the colors so this is the hair product that i'm going to be shooting so we're going to show examples of how we place the lights how we place our phones etc now i remind you i talked about uh recording on I mean i talked about finding inspiration on pinterest right so the product is what hair locks growth stimulator it's it's a growth oil quite all right so i searched on pinterest for uh, hair growth oil and i saw this picture and i said wow this is perfect i'd love to recreate this now if you study it under it show it's a it's a wood slice and then some flowers around and in this picture it's two products but that's okay because i can use two of this since this is the only product i'm saying oh, i'll just use only this it doesn't matter you don't have to follow it to the to the book you could just pick one or two ideas and uh, create yours out of it so let me let's get started so the first step was what to find inspiration which we did and the second step is to what gather your props so i'm gonna gather my props where's the wood slice here hmm where's my wood slice if you don't have a wood slice you can use something round something roundish let's say for example now i don't have a wood slice i do have a, a wood slice but i can't find a wood slice either or i don't have i could easily use something round i can use my foam lifters which is perfect by the way for beauty photography anyone that sells that's into beauty products and sells beauty products should have these foam lifters must have these foam lifters because they are very very handy and we sell them at simbi props on instagram now i'm going to use this white circular lifter um um i'm using a white background i don't want everything to be white white so let me just pick the pink i use the pink 
as the round uh, as the round wood I'm trying to improvise here then I get my flowers so I get my flowers I got matching colors because the product brand is all about pink so I got some pink rose flowers I added some whites for contrast and all that we sell the flowers at Simbi props and it's always good to um, to understand how colors work don't just go and use green with purple everything join everything together and um, you you start styling so let's look at our picture again it's product standing and some flowers on the side so i'm gonna go with it i'll be free i put my product on the lifter i'm gonna use one product this time around a big two products you say plenty things <laughs> so I place this on the side I just keep you know playing around with stuff I place this on the side and my white does this white go at all I'm not sure let me put it at the back yeah probably so there you have it then we take our picture now that we have everything set we have two lights on the side side by side quite all right the soft box is a four bulb soft box and this is a led light now i'll have to set my phone on the tripod so that i can take the picture now i have my phone now i have my phone on the tripod with all the light settings got it now it is important that you give a distance from your tripod to your uh um product don't be too close if not you would not get the right angle shot now there's quite a distance in between them as you can see and let's look into my phone camera remember we need to set some settings first of all i said you should have the hdr function on my own hdr is here some people's hdr is inside the settings so i turn on my hdr i've turned it on and then secondly is our ratio this is a redmi phone by the way um my own ratio is around yes you can see one ratio one three ratio four nine you always have to put it at three by four please always put it on three by four now that is the second sentence lastly is to zoom in 2x don't exceed 2x please else you will lose quality now the reason to zoom in 2x is so that you can have a full frame effect now this is on a normal camera this is normal camera 1x normal distance and because of the distance between both of them it is not too close and fills up the screen so i'm going to go 2x here you see the option it goes 2x and everything is filled up you could use your fingers to do it but when you are doing it it's going to be showing you the zoom in level so this is no this oh let me use the one that i'm familiar with okay 2x now this is 2x everything is coming out nice isn't it now lastly is to increase exposure you tap on the screen you see the light bulb that comes out this is very common with iphone users if it's some other android phones you see um what's it called you see something like a bar down here for samsung and the techno kind of phone so once you make sure you always tap on the product go go you tap on the product and then you drag it upwards you drag this light bulb upwards it simply means you're making your picture brighter before you take a picture you're increasing the exposure once you do that you immediately take your picture if you don't immediately take your picture it's going to go back to default so i tap on it increase the exposure to make it bright and i take my picture so let's look at what we have shot can you see that can you see that it's bright enough for us to now start editing now this is me having my lights side by side now, this is not a rule of thumb. You don't have to have your light side by side. Let me give, let me show you the different looks that you can get with having light on both sides. 
then bringing the bringing one light to the front and leaving one on the side um bringing the two lights to the front you know let's just see the effect because that's part of photography you have to see which lighting works best for the situation that you have already so so i'm going to bring my led light to the front maybe because it's a smaller light <laughs> i don't have to be carrying load so i bring my led light to the front Abi. see see my settings bar one on the side and one on the front they are not side by side anymore so let us see the difference let me go back to my camera and um, it's on 2x hmm to me i think the back now became dull i don't know if you're seeing what i'm seeing no the back now became dull but the front is brighter than the back but anyways let's just take the picture like that and see remember you tap on the product increase exposure like this you drag the light up and take a picture immediately okay this is it this was the previous one this one light side by side this is light in front the flowers are brighter the front of the product is brighter but this one is just neutral sort of and there's some shadows inside the leaves so you see the difference now let me bring the second light this one the softbox let me bring it to the front too so both of them will be in front tamam now we have two lights in front let's see the difference okay hmm there isn't much of a difference to me but let's see i tap on the screen increase exposure and then i take a picture oh this one is dull though. the one with the light in front is brighter this one is sort of dull the one on the light in front is brighter and then this other one too is neutral i seem to like the one with one light in front and one light on the side it's more appealing to me so it, you have to check these things out as you take pictures now once you get the right light position that you love for the particular setting that you have now let's say i have five more pictures to take and i want to use this white background eh i'll just be like okay um let me rearrange this light and see which one is best now i see that one light in front and one light on the side is best so i just leave the light like that till i finish taking all my five pictures of my five different products so let me return this one back to the side jj and leave it like that so now we've talked about lights let us now talk about foam you see this phone eh? it's on 90 degrees facing the product directly like it, it's straight and it's straight applied on the tripod and it is facing the product directly now there are different ways you can do this to see which you know which um, picture you like the best so you see it's, it's not it's a it's a product photographer that would take his or her time to go through all this thing but as a business owner it's good for you to know this but I know you'll be working against time. You'll be working with time. And you'll be like, I don't have time for all this. Why would I be trying this angle, trying that angle, trying that? But it's good for you to know it. Just in case you need it at some point. So, like I said, this is 90 degrees. The phone facing the product directly. Mm -hmm. Now, there's 45 degrees front angle. There is 180 degrees front angle. And of course 90 degrees which we have done already now let's move on to 45 degrees what 45 degrees means is this phone will be at the top it won't be on the same level as the product now it will be at i will raise it i'll raise my tripod higher then now tilt the phone forward a bit so it's going to form a nine a 45 degree look let me do it so that you see now with a 45 degree look i raised my tripod higher higher than the level at which the product is is higher and i tilted the phone 
I tilted the phone a little bit like this. So the phone is not straight. It's tilted forward. Now, this is the look of how a 45 degree is. Look at the look. Hmm? And look at the 90 degree look. Can you see the difference? Can you spot the difference? This one is straight. Like, you are facing it. Face me, I face you kind of thing. But, um, but for 45 degree, it's like... I am taller than you. Yes. Yeah. Accident have happened. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Ah, <laughs> uh, my phone holder got spot. <laughs> so I couldn't hold my um, my my cam my phone. Uh. Well. So back to what was we were saying. The 45 degrees it means that the phone is tilted forward a bit and the tripod is slightly higher than the scene so we are just going to take our picture by tapping on this on the product increasing exposure dragging this bulb light higher and then oh that's too bright no no i don't want that you have to be very careful and not to increase it because you're going to edit and when you edit it gets brighter so don't go and overdo your exposure tap on it increase the exposure and take a picture okay so you can see this i had to like try it again and again to get the brightness that i want so this is 45 degrees you can see and this is 90 degrees which one do you like more yeah i like this 90 degrees possible anyways it's really up to you but i needed to show you how uh to place your phone at a different angle now i'm going to try the 180 degrees we've done 90 degrees face my face you 45 degrees i told past you and then 180 degrees is in a short pass so we're going to lower the tripod and take a picture from under so the product looks big now with the 180 degrees i had to what do quite a number of things i had to shift the tripod forward a bit so that it gets closer to the product and it looks big i had to also turn my phone upside down you can see my phone is upside down on the tripod and i had to put my my camera on 2x you can see it 2x now this is the look we are getting can you see that now i have an issue the light is shining on the product you can see the light is shining on the product this particular light that is why i always prefer the soft box because the soft box is usually softer on products this particular light that is very shiny on the product here the same thing happens when you use a ring light so how do we solve this problem so i'm just going to put a cloth over this light i'll put a cloth over it just to reduce the intensity of that shiny light so i have put a cloth over it now and i can see that the intensity has reduced a bit it has reduced a bit it's not as harsh as before so let's get to work i tap on the screen i increase my exposure and i take my picture good so we can't see because it's upside down let me do it again i tap on the screen i increase my exposure so it is bright and i take my picture good so this is 180 degrees i moved my tripod closer so that i can get that full screen effect i turned my phone upside down i put it on 2x zoom i put a cloth over my very shiny bright lights because of that white light i'm seeing on the product to reduce the intensity and uh, let's take a look at all the shots that we've taken now these are just the angles you can do while your phone is in front of it there's one last one 
while for your phone to be on the side but that side one is just relative it suddenly happens except you want to take pictures from the side of your product taking picture from the side you see my tripod is not directly in front it i shifted it to the side a bit and i'm taking picture from the side you can see that i refuse to turn the f the the products to face this side because i need i need you that you're looking at this picture to know that i'm taking picture from this side now the product is still facing front but i am taking picture from the side right i put it on 2x my phone is tilted forward a bit it's on 45 degrees on the side 45 degrees on the side so let's take our picture tap on it increase light and take your picture good this is it this is side 45 degrees this is um, front 180 degrees this is uh, where the rest dinner and this kind of phone safe where is my gallery okay side 45 degrees front 180 degrees then this is also front 45 degrees front 45 degrees front 45 degrees then front one front 90 degrees so all these shots we're going to edit them i just needed to show you how it's done and uh, how it works do not forget do not forget your um, what's it called your phone settings on your camera before you take your shot turn on hdr set your ratio turn on hdr set your ratio to three by four um what else put, always put it on two x zoom give a distance between the product and your phone except in the case where it is a 180 degrees front angle shot so that's that about that and um let's get into editing 